Hi guys, this is Dan from the Investment ABC, your guide to financial freedom. And in this video, I want to give a short update on Abcellera. For those of you who are not familiar with the company, Abcellera is a biotech stock that is using AI software to find antibodies for other drug developing companies and obtain royalties once the drug is commercialized. The advantage of this business model is that once the company found an antibody, the collaborating partners are paying for all development costs, such as costs for clinical trials, for example, and Abcellera can reduce its risks and costs dramatically. Furthermore, Abcellera can partner with thousands of different companies to find antibodies for different diseases. Currently, the company is getting royalties from only one drug that is um, developed together with Eli Lilly to treat COVID-19. But only with this one royalty from that one drug, the company will most likely achieve revenue of more than 100 million US dollar in 2021, excluding any milestone payments or fees from using the platform. 100 million US dollar per year in royalty payments from one drug alone. Now, how much will the company generate when more drugs developed by its partners are being commercialized in the future? According to CEO Carl Hansen, the company aims to have 1,000 partner programs in the next 10 years. If only a fraction is making it into a commercialized drug, the company could generate billion dollars in revenue with low costs, which will lead to a significant free cash flow. The company is developing a 130,000 square foot facility in Vancouver, which will be completed in 2024. This facility will help Epsalavar to provide even more value for its partners, especially smaller biotech stocks. The facility enables Epsalavar to accelerate its programs from a drug target to the submission of an uh, IND application. If we have a look at 2020, for example, we can see that gross profit margin was at around 88%, which is incredibly high for any company. In 2021, the company will most likely hold this level. Exactly this is the reason why I have invested in this company. High profit margins will lead to high free cash flows and a higher stock price in the future. Unfortunately, the only drug the company has currently is a COVID drug. And no one really knows exactly how long COVID will last and when this revenue stream will end. Last quarter, the FDA paused the emergency authorization for the drug Bamlanivimab until September 2nd since it wasn't too effective against the Delta variant. This led to a substantial decline in revenue last quarter and a major decline in the stock price. The FDA resumed the emergency authorization of a combination of Bamlanivimab together with another drug called Estivimab. Epsalera and its partner Eli Lilly have a second drug called um, LY1404 against COVID variants in the pipeline, which is currently in phase 2 and hopefully will soon get also emergency authorization. It has been very quiet around 1404 and investors got worried that Eli Lilly might have dropped the drug. I think that was the main reason why the stock price declined from around $20 to under $13 now. In my opinion, 1404 will have a very important role in the stock price in the short term. Yesterday, finally, investors got some news about the new drug from the CEO of Eli Lilly in an interview. In the interview yesterday, the CEO of Ella Lilly said that 1404 shows efficacy against the latest Omicron variant and that they are talking with regulators to get emergency approval soon. If this drug is approved, Epsalera could keep this high revenue level for another one to two years as long as the drug is effective against the latest variants. Free cash flow currently is so important for a startup to not dilute investors and to invest in R&D and expand the business. The free cash flow will allow the company to start more programs, which will ultimately lead to more revenue down the road. Investors have to have a lot of patience with the company and its stock, since the valuation is still high for the stage the company is currently in. The market cap is at around 3.8 billion US dollar, and it is not 100% clear in which direction the revenue will go in the next years, because it really depends on the situation surrounding the pandemic. But in the long run, I see the company achieving a market cap of 40 billion plus. 
Currently, the company has around 155 programs under contract, which is growing quarter over quarter. The company has so many different chances of finding an antibody that could make it into a blockbuster drug over time. At this stage, the company has only 5 drugs in clinical development, but over time more and more new drugs will make it into clinical development. At some point in the future, I see the company developing also drugs on their own, which could boost their revenue even more. If we have a look at the charts, we can see that anyone who bought the stock since its IPO got devastated. The price declined from a high of $71 to an all-time low yesterday of $12.29. This is an insane decline. Obviously, retail investors were bidding growth stocks up last year to a point where people thought that valuation don't matter anymore. They had to learn the hard way that valuations always matter in the long run and that phases where it doesn't are only short-lived where the smart money is taking advantage of it and selling their shares to inexperienced participants. A lot of people who bought Epsilera last year most likely sold out by now and are cursing the stock and labeling it as a bad stock and investment to own. Little do they know that now is the time to properly do your due diligence and look if one can get a bargain now. From a chart technical point, the price needs to hold above the all-time low and head strongly higher from here out of this falling wedge to above $15.60 to have a chance to turn the declining trend around. From a fundamental point of view, there could be some more room for the downside since the Fed announced faster tapering and interest rate hikes, which most likely put pressure on unprofitable growth stocks. We might see a real bear market after the last bear market in 2007, which could cut valuations easily in half from here. That is the reason why I hold the main core position, which I will not sell no matter what happens, but also hold cash in case of a real bargain prices. Furthermore, I am trading Epsilera a lot since it is highly volatile and a company that I love and have a high conviction that is uh, survived the bear market. If we see approval of 1404, we could see the stock price pop to above $20 on that announcement alone despite how weak the overall markets are. Overall, I think holding a long-term core position in this stock will make investors happy in the next 5-10 to 10 years in my opinion. For the short and medium term, it is going to be very volatile. Of course, no one knows 100% and everything I said is my own opinion and no financial advice. Always do your own due diligence, guys. If you like this video and are also an Absalera shareholder and are convinced that it will be successful in the future, smash the like button to spread the video to more investors and subscribe for more updates and stock picks. Bye guys and see you in the next one.